after two lectures on refraction in a thick lens now we are able to uh, find the thick lens formula when you say thick lens formula it means say uh, this is the formula for the focal length of a thick lens uh, you have seen in the earlier lecture that we have also obtained the principal focal length but that was measured from the poles but actually in case of a thick lens the focal length is measured not from poles of the surfaces but uh, these are measured from the principal points so when we will measure actually the focal lengths from the principal points then what will be the expression for focal length this is the basic or main problem of this lecture and today we will discuss actually that uh, main uh, problem so let us see this figure here uh, h1 is your uh, first principal point and f1 is the first principal focus so actually this h1 f1 will give the first principal focal length of this thick lens similarly you can see this uh, h2 is the second principal point and f2 is the second focus so h2 f2 uh, will be the second uh, second principal uh, focal length of this thick lens so from the geometry of figure uh, we can easily calculate the first focal length and the second focal length but for that we will need the uh, use of the results which we have already discussed in the previous lectures so for your convenience i have mentioned here all those results which you have actually studied in the previous lecture i am not going to read these results because whenever these will be needed for our calculation we will use it because you are familiar with all these results since you have studied these things in the previous lecture so now uh, let us uh, try to find uh, the expression for the focal length of focal length of the thick lens focal lens in fact we define the first focal length first focal length f1 this is actually the distance of the first focus from the first principal point and you can see this figure actually there is some trouble that page is turned automatically so don't mind it uh, you can see see this figure here h1 is your first principal point and f1 is first uh, uh, focus so h1 f1 is actually the first principal focal length or first focal length you can say so according to the geometry of figure this first focal length f1 will be simply equal to what h1 f uh, h1 f1 and uh, <coughs> actually if we will use the sign convention you know or you can see this figure that since this distance h1 f1 will be measured just in opposite direction of the incident ray so according to the sign convention we should take it uh, negative so we should write f1 equal to minus h1 f1 now see uh, according to the geometry of figure you can see that this uh, h1 f1 is equal to what this is your h1 f1 and that can be uh, written as this o1 h1 a plus o1 f1 you can write it so this is simply equal to o1 h1 plus o1 f1 o1 f1 now the value of this o1 h1 and o1 f1 we have already calculated in the previous lecture in the second lecture basically you can see 
here in this equation a uh, this o1 f1 has been obtained uh, which is actually equal to b over a when you neglect the minus sign that will be b over a actually this is the first focal length measured from the pole and uh, what is the value of uh, uh, o1 o1 h1 is that much and o1 f1 when you say o1 f1 o1 not o1 h1 yes o1 h1 o1 h1 is here in fact uh, this is not uh, this is actually o1 f1 o1 h1 is here o1 h1 is equal to this much this is actually the distance of the first principal point from the pole and this is 1 uh, minus b over a so uh, from this equation a and uh, this equation b we will simply substitute the value of o1 f1 and uh, o1 h1 you can see in this equation and then we will get the first uh, focal length f1 so you can see this f1 is equal to minus o1 h1 see here o1 h1 is what this is 1 minus b over a so we will write 1 minus b over a and plus o1 f1 see here o1 f1 is b by a so we will put here b by a now simplify it you can see this b in the numerator will cancel out and this will be simply minus 1 by a this is minus 1 by a and say this is equation 1 so in terms of the constant a we have obtained actually the value of the first focal length of this thick lens now uh, we can obtain the second focal length of this thick lens and you can see the second focal length is also measured from the second principal point that is from h2 so h2 f2 is actually the second focal length f2 and from the geometry of figure you can see this h2 f2 will be what that will be simply o2 h2 a plus o2 f2 you can see the figure so second focal length second focal length or the focal length focal length of the thick lens you can say focal length of the thick lens this will be actually uh, we would, since i have written here focal length of the thick lens so we uh, will denote it by f and that f is simply equal to f2 and f2 will be what you have seen the figure this is h2 f2 and h2 f2 you have seen in the figure this is o2 h2 plus o2 f2 now the value of this o2 h2 and o2 f2 we will have put uh, from the previous result you can see here this is your o2 f2 which is equal to c by a and this is uh, this p is actually you can see o2 h2 which is equal to c minus a over 1 so making the use of these equations c and d uh, here uh, you can see what will be f this will be simply equal to minus c minus 1 over a plus c over a c over a and you can see 
this will be simply equal to 1 over a 1 over a see this is say this is equation 2 now you can see actually the first focal length uh, which is f1 and the second focal length which is f2 both are actually same only uh, the there is a difference of sign because the first focus lies in left side of the lens and uh, uh, the second focus in right side so according to sign convention we have to take minus sign for defining the first uh, focal length so there is no difference here so therefore you can say the value or the magnitude that is of f1 and f2 are same and that is equal to f you can say you can say and uh, and that is equal to 1 over a so uh, if you want to calculate the value of 1 over f that will be simply equal to 1 over 1 over f will be equal to a not 1 over a this will be equal to a so 1 over f is equal to a and you can see in the first lecture actually we have obtained the value of a in terms of the uh, refracting power of the two surfaces of the lens here p1 p2 are actually the refracting uh, power of the first surface and the second surface so we will use this value of a uh, in our calculation now and you can see uh, this a is equal to p1 plus p2 and minus p1 times p2 times t prime now uh, you have seen uh, what is this p1 which is actually the refracting power of the first surface and you have seen in the earlier lectures that this p1 is simply equal to n minus 1 over r1 can you remember it definitely you should remember because you have uh, seen the previous lecture so definitely you should remember it that p1 is equal to n minus 1 over r1 and uh, what is this p2 p2 was 1 minus n over r2 here actually r1 and r2 are the radius of curvature of the first and second surface and minus p1 times p2 so multiply these two value so this will be n minus 1 whole square over r1 r1 times r2 times t prime but you have seen that this t prime is simply equal to t by n where t is the thickness of your lens that is the distance between poles o1 a2 o2 was t and when we divide it by the refractive index of the lens that has been denoted by t prime you have seen it actually uh, here there is um, 1 minus n so when we will make it n minus 1 then sign will change so here will be actually plus sign now take this uh, n minus 1 as a common factor you can see so after taking n minus 1 as a common factor our result will be what this will be 1 over r1 1 over r1 minus 1 over minus 1 over r2 because uh, here is n mi 1 minus n not n minus 1 so we should to take here minus sign and uh, plus n minus 1 whole square t and divided by r1 r2 into n and actually this is your thick lens formula you can see this is our thick lens formula you can check the validity of this uh, result be, uh, by taking the condition that if our lens is not thick but it is thin 
then what will be the formula you can check it so in case of case of thin lens when you say thin lens then this thickness t tends to zero so if we will take uh, the th case of thin lens then we will simply neglect the term containing this t that is the last term in the in this expression may be neglected in case of thin lens because here there is t and t is negligibly small that tends to zero in case of thin lens so if you apply this result for a thin lens then uh, this last term will be neglected and uh, after neglecting the last term what will be our result then you can see your result will be 1 over f equal to n minus 1 into 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2 and you know this is the well known thin lens formula so as this uh, thin lens formula has been obtained uh, from the thick lens formula and we get it in correct form so definitely uh, the expression for this thick lens formula is correct because it holds for a, a thin lens uh, when we simply impose the condition that the thickness of the lens tends to zero so you have seen uh, in fact uh, in the three lectures we have discussed this problem of thick lens and this is very important for you you must go through the theory and uh, definitely you should practice it to write down and then you will be able to write the answer in your examinations